Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. That's all of that lot joined in. Now staff. No, not staff. Deployment. That's like, I've got a patrol over there, but I don't have a patrol. Oh, no, I do have a patrol over this side. Right. I've got a patrol there. And then what we're going to want is patrols around the outside of the prison next. That's going to be the next thing that we're going to start working on, I guess. Oh, I suppose it's not really hugely important. I will just bring all of that down there. Make sure that's gone in. And then we'll bring this all the way along over here. Right the way out to that end. There we will remove... Every single tree that we can, that we can get money for. Like that. There's a load of tree stumps going to be removed. But we're also going to get more money coming in for the timber that we're going to be lifting up. Now, I've got these offices in here. I've got a little bit left to do with... Um, just putting the power in. Oop, no, I don't want to put that one there. I want to put that one there. That one over there. We've got several little blades being picked up. I'm going to do a light outside of each of these offices, like that. And then I could very well go for some more offices later. Psychiatrist. Put one in there. Requires psychiatrist office. Is that not a psychiatrist office? Oh, dear. Quick build. Office. Classroom, padded, utility, padded cell. Psychi... Oh... Oh, psychiatrist's office looks actually exactly the same. Unfortunately, it's not quite the same. So I'm going to pause everything on here a second. And I'm going to go with objects in here first. And we're going to sell object. No, I'm not. I'm just going to dismantle. We'll put them into storage. So I will go like, nope. I've got to actually click on each one to dismantle. So I will dismantle these. Like that. Don't forget to dismantle those. And that one. I will also... Uh, dismantle the lights that have been requested. And we'll do it like that. Those there will be removed. Very quickly go and remove that lot. As soon as they're done... There we go. Then I will go with quick build. And I will go with psychiatrist's office. And I'll drop that over the top. There. So I have five psychiatrist offices. Down through here. Which I think are going to look absolutely grand. Now I've got a concrete wall down that side. Which I don't actually want. I don't want concrete wall. I'd rather have... The regular wall. I mean, we'll wait and see because I've just gone with the quick build and i got a feeling that it's gone and changed all the wall around again. Um, my bad. Entirely my bad. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to try to avoid that. Right, death. Again, with killing the psychiatrist, the psychologist. It, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to help them out. Right? The whole idea is you're helping them, not killing them. Or getting them to kill you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really not going very well for them, is it? Uh, grass. Let's put a little bit of grass down here. I can put grass down to there. And then we'll go down on that bit there. And then I will go all the way over here like this. And then I will go all the way over here like this. And over here like this. Grass is very, very quick for them to put in. Which is why I'm doing this. Yeah, there's a little bit. All right, the rest of that is going to take a little while for them to put in. So we'll let them keep going with it. And right here, I've now got my psychologist's offices. Uh, psychiatrist's offices, not psychologists. These are psychiatrists. Big difference. Big difference between the two. As soon as they've come in, they, they've, some things they've got to take out. Some things they've got to put in. They're just moving it all around a little bit. They're going pretty quick with it. I notice that that isn't a staff door on there. That's just a regular door. So I might need regular doors elsewhere as well. Minimum size. No, it is, it's got the minimum size 4x4. Four four. I've got the psychiatrist in there. 
This is good. We've now... I need two psychiatrists. Each requires an office. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change that round a little bit. Uh, just the last couple of bits in there. You can stay as a staff door, though. I think we will keep that as a staff door. I've got trouble with guards flashing up up here. 33 members of staff are exhausted. This is what I don't like, is i got so many exhausted. 38 station, 14 patrolling, 22 doing jobs, 40 on a break, 3 of them need a break. Staff morale is 100%, 85 are happy in their job, 12 got serious complaints. I'm doing alright, really. Murdered by prisoner. Doing alright, he says, as the death, the death toll keeps climbing. What is going on here? It's the parole offices. Do I need to hire station a guard in each of these rooms? Deployment. Assign guard. I'm going to assign a guard into each parole room. I think it's the only way. 27 have been unnecessarily searched. 80 prisoners have got, un uh, got serious complaints. Policy needs. Yeah, Luxuries was the one I wanted to do, wasn't it? All right, I'll tell you what. Let's let's see if Luxuries does at least cheer them up a tiny bit. If I go into Quick Build over this side, we will go with the uh, shop over here. I will drop that down on there. I'll put a shop in there like that. I'm not quite sure how this works. I don't really know anything about the shop. Or what it's supposed to do. I'm going to assign a guard in here for when it's done. But I don't. I, I, I genuinely don't know how this shop works. I, I tried it before and I, I couldn't really make head or tail of it. Now, staff. Psychiatrists. Let's get too many of them, shall we? There's another one there. Hmm. Where are your... Offices. How many have I... Uh, I've got four. Let's put one there. Right. He's happy in his office. Uh, wait. What's this? Upgrade the psychiatrist's office to improve their ability. How do you upgrade it? Psychiatrist ability average. Psychiatric consultation sessions via the program's menu. Okay. I'm, I'm not really sure about how to improve anything else on that. So far, that's open access, or it should be. But this down here, I don't really want as open access. That's access only. This is, well, some of this has got to stay as open access. This bit in here, if we go back to deployment, I, I've got shared access in that bit. Shared access in that bit behind that gate there. That's already set to shared access. Then this bit in here, this is going to be access only. Like that. Now, psychiatrists and so on, they're not far from the staff room up there. So they will be able to go out through these gates and they will be able to use the staff room up there. So I'm quite happy with them doing that. I've got a light there that I want to move. That one can go over there like that. We go to objects and we go to lights and then we go one, two, three, four. And then we go one, two, three, four and five like that. I don't need to worry about any more lights for a minute. I will put some more lights down this side. One down over here. And these are going to go right the way round this building now. I'm going to also put some flooring in right the way around this building and through here as well. That's going to go right down there. And then across this way. Like that. Around there. Over that way. And then you are going to go here. And then fill out those two bits. Right. I don't know what I'm going to do in there. I do want some lights. Let's, we'll start the lights from this side. I've already started putting the lights down, so I can keep going with these lights. And then I need to put some up that long walkway that we've got coming from the top. I'm hoping that what will happen is that the prisoners, when they're brought in, will come down the shared access bit, rather than 
going any other route. Goes out there like that. And that one goes out onto the corner. And then here, like that. So I'll put you opposite like that. And back there that way. And then up here. This is where I was thinking it have a load of lights. I can't put them out that side. I could either put them on the inside in there or I just run them down here. So I'm going to run them down here like this. And put lights all the way down through. And then we've got... We would have one... Oh, no, I can put one there. One, two. Right, well, that one's in the right place. So I put them there. That one's also in the right place. So I put them on this side as well. I can't put one there. That's because that's the door servo's on that one. i got a load of lights ordered all the way down through there. Next, I will go to quick build. And we will clone. And I will clone... Uh, that like that. And I'm going to take that. And I'm going to drop that right up onto that one right there in the middle. They're not going to remove... Oh, they're dismantling the metal detector for that. They're not supposed to do that. And then we'll come down here. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to run... That all the way down there. At least we can now rotate the... I can't rotate it round back to... Oh, yes, I can. Right, that one will go that way. And I'm going to bring this all the way along the bottom. Oops. Uh, I need to cancel that. Ah, undo. Undo. How much am I undoing? Undo doesn't seem to work anymore. I can... What can I do? Uh, right click... I'm, I'm cancelling it. Okay, I'm not quite sure why it's not cancelling that. It should be cancelling. I'm going to go here and I'm going to do the whole quick build thing again. Clone. Ah, I see. Right. Clone, I want to copy a load of lights like that, and then I'll bring them over this way. And I'll drop that right down on there. So that one will go there, like that. That will work quite nicely. And then I will go here and drop that one in. And then I will go over this side, and I will start it from here. It's going to be there so that it ties in with it. And then one more there like that. I haven't got room to put any more in. So these last few, I will do these by hand. be the quickest way to do this, I think. All right. Sometimes it doesn't really work very well when I'm trying to do this bit. All right. With, with the, the whole cloning, copying thing. It is really, really good having the copying thing there. Uh, that is a huge step in the right direction because apparently you never used to have it. Right. Ah. Yeah, I got one too many down. It, like, it doesn't quite meet up down here. So we'll put an extra couple down in that corner. I might end up putting a sniper tower down there just, just to even things out a little bit. Right. There's that done. We've got this in here. I've got lights all the way around here. I've got all of this stuff in here. I do have one metal detector there that I've removed that I'm now going to go and, excuse me, uh, put back on there like that. We've got footpath coming in all the way through in here, everywhere that it needs to be. So next, I'm going to need a canteen to feed these criminally insanes. So we're going to need a kitchen for that. Now, do I have a quick build kitchen? I do have a quick build kitchen. It's a very, very small kitchen. Okay, we're not going to quick build the kitchen. I'm going to go with foundations, and I'm going to go more in here. Tiled wall is what I'm going to do this kitchen out of. And that one is going to go right there, opposite that bit. It's going to go down here like this. Does require an entrance. I suppose the kitchen doesn't need to be that big. We'll drop a kitchen right in there, and then we need to build an entrance for this. Now, yellow... 
red stripes there for maximum security orange for medium yellow for protective custody gray for low security hmm see tiled walls and then padded walls is another one that i'm gonna want i've got hedges there white concrete perimeter i don't know if there is a padded wall don't think there is I have a regular door on here, and I will put that one right there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's rotate you around. We will put one there and one there like that. That's all I'm going to do. I'll put that onto there. That one will come along quite nicely. And then I'm going to want a canteen next to it so that the criminally insane may eat. So we'll go here, tiled white. Oh, there, wall cushioned. I knew there was a cushioned wall here somewhere. That, I will overlap that bit like that. And then I'll bring that one out here. I don't know how many criminally insane. And I also don't know if they actually need a canteen or not. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I'll wait until this is finished building by the look of it. I thought I would just be able to drop it down where it was. It looks like I need to wait until it's finished building. And then once it has, then I can just sort of drag that down over the top of it. We'll go out about that far, I think. Yeah, see? Is that done yet? How is that not done yet? Ah, there. That's what I wanted. Right, now I can overlap those two like that. That's going to end up removing that wall, isn't it? But I'm actually okay with that. We, we can remove the wall. They'll go and they'll, they'll do everything they want to do in there. And then we can deal with the rest of it in a minute. I can also go with the flooring here. And we will take grass right over into that corner. And then I'm going to take this huge section down here. And I'm going to do that. I know that is a big, big area to go doing something like that in. And it's something that I may end up regretting. But I think it might be worth it. Not logistics deployment. That is still access only. So I don't know why I've got prisoners running around down here. Because they, they, they're they not supposed to be down here. Definitely not supposed to have come down here. If you workers could finish that bit up. That would be absolutely fantastic and really appreciated. Okay. There. Yeah, see. I'm, oh, I see. They went out and they picked up stuff. And, and then they've gone back through. That's what's happened. They've, they've caused trouble. Now, the gardeners, they are doing a good job of keeping everything clean, but I don't think I've got enough. I think I could do it with another ten gardeners. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's start with another five. We go 15 gardeners. They can go out through and then they can keep keeping things tidy. This is going to be a big job. Told you I might regret it. Although I don't think I will. It's because they've gone and abandoned that. Why Why can't you finish that? And then I can focus on building my kitchen. I suppose I can do that anyway. Uh, double doors on there. Do I really need them? Yes, I do. I will go with double doors. So I will go rooms here and canteen kitchen. I'm going to make you into kitchen on that part right there. So then I can go to objects here and we can go to some cookers. Actually, we will go with the sinks first. I'll put one there and one there, and then I will put one up in that corner. So three sinks. Maybe that will be enough. I'll put a, a bin there. Now, somebody did say that I need to make... Oh, I have. I've, I've already gone and put bins in the canteens. I was going to say, it was something that was mentioned to me that I hadn't been putting bins in the canteen. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I've gone and done that now. Now, we will move up this... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cancel those two. Go to walls and doors. I need a tiled wall along there. Along that side there. Because I don't want the perimeter wall being the outside edge of it. That's, that's not something that we want. Now, where are these prisoners going? What exactly are they up to? Because this is access only. They're not supposed to be in here unless they're accessing something. I'm not quite sure what they're at unless they're running out to go and get things. A notebook page there. 
There's another one. Uh, come on for that. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Keep going on super fast. I need that to just keep going super fast. I've got a lot of work for my workers to get through up here. So it's going to take them a while. I've got a couple of them are coming up here and they're dealing with the walls and that, which is good. I'm pleased about that. We've got some sinks in here and then I can now go and actually get the sinks. Right, I've got a, a, a new sink that has been ordered. That one's going to go there. We'll go back to the walls and doors and we will take the tiled wall and that one's going to go down there like that. And I'm going to put another one across there like that. And then I'm going to take a staff door and I'm going to put one in there. I'm going to go with cookers over here. We're going... Oh, that's a fridge. Okay. We'll go with fridges then. I like to put the fridges over here. We'll, we'll open it up a little bit so that we've got some space. One. Uh, two. Three. For that goes right up to the wall. So I won't do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel those and then I'm going to put them up a little bit higher towards the wall like that. So that I can fit five in. Three, four and five. And then I'll do about face on them down there. And that's going to give me ten of these. That we can put in there. And then I can put cookers down this wall here like this no more than that and then cookers can also go over here and that's going to be kind of like a, a cooker alley going up there I think we'll do it like that so there I got 15 cookers in there uh, one cook per cooker is the general consensus I believe so I will take cooks in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've got one cook missing. Why have I got... Have, have I got one cook missing or is that just how many I've got? 64. It should be 65. It should be multiples of 5, surely. Um, not really sure. So we will. we won't worry about it. We will leave that. Now that main pipe needs to come down to here and then coming off of that one I will do these like that. The electric cable, that will come out over to here. That one will also come out over to here and that should uh, sort of gather up the rest of those. Oh, wait a minute, I'll tell you what, no, utilities, the electric cable, they can actually run out right into the canteen over on this side. And then I will leave the rest of that for a minute. I got the door up there for the canteen. Oh, no, that's the, the door for the kitchen. I need another door down here for the canteen. Walls and doors. And I will do the same as I've done before. I'll do a double door on it. And put one on there. Like that. And then that light there will be moved over to there. And I will go to flooring. And I'll go to sandstone. And I will put that out like that there so the few more trees are going to be cut down to be able to do that i've got walls and everything else being put into that area and this down here we're slowly working our way through this like i said it's going to take a while for us to get through it all but we will get there eventually deployment do i have insane i do i have insane security only only criminally insane prisoners will be permitted to enter this sector and workers. So, change that over. Ah, you can have access only and certain staff only as well. Or certain, yeah, right. So, certain prisoners and access only. So, that's access only and it's also criminally insane. I'm hoping that the workers will still be able to go through and do what they need to do. This bit going up here means that deliveries and stuff should be a bit quicker. They're coming up round that way. And it'll be the same with this new kitchen as well. Although I think the kitchen is not really going to make a big lot of difference between which direction they need to go. The kitchen... Mm, okay, I'm not going to do double doors. I'll dismantle that one and I'll put another wall in there 
tunnel. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. I literally just had the tunnel flagged and then they've come up and done it. <laughs> just flagged it just then. Right, the, the dog came through and he picked it up. Right, well, we'll just let them go through like that. The um, one member of staff will be over shortly. There he is. He's on his way. And we'll get him to deal with that. As soon as he comes up round. He'll be here eventually. Oh, there he is. He will uncover the tunnel. That goes. There's only two prisoners have actually gotten out with that. There, those two in there. Oh, no, 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 no. There's there's more have gone into that side as well. More went in there. So there was a few more than just the two. Right, well, they, they will go and fill that bit in. And this down here... Oh, now that's working as well now. We've, we've got that all done. I've got loads of extra bits being done. We've got the kitchen being built. This is excellent. So I'm going to go logistics. No, I'm not. I'm going to go deployment in here. And that is insane security only in there. We will go to rooms. And we will say canteen. So I don't know yet if I'm supposed to have a canteen for the criminally insane. I don't know if they actually have one. Or if their meals are all taken in their cells. So it's kind of guesswork for me at the moment. I will put two serving tables in here. And then we will go with uh, benches. No, uh, regular benches. I'll put one there and one there. And then table, bench. And I'll do the same again. Like this. I go like that. Uh, and I go like that. Right. Now. I could have done this completely wrong. I may not need anything like this. They may all be fed in their cells. I have got no clue at the moment how any of this works with the criminally insane. However, I do know one thing for certain. I would like to find out. I would like to see how the criminally insane thing functions because I think this is going to be pretty cool. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, which means that uh, it's not going to be exactly even, which does irritate me. Really irritates me when I can't have things exactly even all the way through with like how it's looking. More than most people would understand. Some of you will understand, but some of you will not. Some of you will just be bemused by the fact that it really does irritate me that much. Oh, it does. It really does. Uh, that one shouldn't be there. That one needs to go there. Is that going to be sufficient light in his kitchen? I need one there. By the door. So I'll do another one. That's not by the door. But I'll do another one over there. It's not even. Sometimes you just can't do it. You, I mean, you can make it even. It just doesn't always work properly. It doesn't quite work how you want it to. Back into objects again, and this time I'm going to do my familiar cross shape, because this does work. This at least does look a little bit even. Right, we can bring some of these in. I've got a guard there who's under attack. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.